Welcome back to another MySys video with Brandout Consulting. Today we're going to be talking about receiving freight costs through the carrier. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new PO here. And uh, supplier number, we're going to go down to Woody's Wood World and we're going to find only qualified items for the supplier. So we're going to add a new line. All right. And here, we'll select that, and we're going to select those. All right, so we're going to order. Let's see, we're going to order 20,000, and we'll order 10,000. All right. So we're going to save this, and now we're going to open the PO. schedule all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to receive the items and receive check close that now we're going to go to the additional cost tab now this is when we get billed from say UPS or FedEx instead of from our supplier so we come here to additional costs and we're going to add uh, UPS ground. And uh, if you notice right here, it's prorated by weight already. And then what we're going to do is we can come over here and we have to put in our amount. So let's put in uh, $25 and we have prorated by weight. And what we're going to do is we're going to save it and now we're going to prorate and then down here we can see the additional costs so it's going to charge on the pencil wood uh, eight dollars and 33 cents and on the ferrules it's going to apply sixteen dollars and 66 cents to it because it's prorated by weight now if we want to change that we can change by quantity and it changes the numbers here because it's based on uh, the amount the quantity so we can put it by extended price we can put it manually if we want to or we're going to stick with weight okay so now we want to hit process and what that's going to do is that's going to add those costs in All right, so, and we want to say that again, process, and there's our additional costs right there. All right, then once we click our invoice button, what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to send a separate invoice to UPS, and it's going to set that up in QuickBooks. Anyway, one of the important things to note is that nothing will actually uh, send any data to our supplier performance until after we close the PO because once you close these POs, you can't make any more changes to them. That's why it waits to send that data just in case there's other additional costing, say that there was, you get a customs charge or something like that. You can also add that in here but it won't affect suppliers performance until after you close the PO. Thanks again for watching our videos. If any of this was helpful for you, please like, share, subscribe, comment below. Let us know what else we can help you with. Thanks.